So patient presents with arthritis of small joints of hands and feet, usually the MCP, metacarpophalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, and the wrist joint is most commonly involved. But the distal interphalangeal joint is usually not involved. It is more involved in osteoarthritis and psoriatic arthritis. Synovium is extensive in these small joints, which makes them prone for immune attack against the synovium. That is why metacarpophalangeal joints and the proximal interphalangeal joints are most commonly involved. It also involves the joints, tendons and the bursae. For example, flexor tenosynovitis in the hands. You know that the flexor tendons travel from the elbow down into the wrist and into the fingers. The flexor tendons are here and the flexor tendons have sheath. The flexor tendon sheaths are inflamed causing flexor tenosynovitis which may cause trigger finger. This becomes inflamed, this becomes fibrosed. You cannot release it easily which is like holding a trigger of a gun. The hand grip will be reduced when the these tendon sheets are inflamed. So, it does not involve the joints alone. It involves both the joints, tendons and the bursa. Another striking feature is clato-axial involvement of the cervical spine which can even lead to subluxation of the atlantar axial joint and neurological deficit which is a life-threatening event that can take place in the rheumatoid arthritis course.